CBS 2's Elsa Ramon is in the newsroom on how the president laid out his plan to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act. Elsa? Well, Rick, President Trump highlighted five changes to what he called the Obamacare disaster in tonight's speech. People covered under the Affordable Health Care Act were assured by the president they would have a stable transition, but many who were able to get health care for the first time under Obamacare are still skeptical. Every TV screen in Champions Barbershop in Studio City tonight was tuned in to President Trump's address. So you man, how's your day? Israel Celio isn't convinced President Trump's repeal and replace plan laid out tonight will help all Americans. Taking care of the whole country, you know, isn't that what it's all about? The president said he would help those insured under the ACA use tax credits to get their own coverage, not when forced on by the government, and give governors flexibility with Medicaid to make sure no one is left without coverage. We should ensure that Americans with pre-existing conditions have access to coverage. Yu Jung Jung has a pre-existing condition and was not reassured by Trump's plan. He's not giving us the numbers or giving us a presentation to be like, oh, well, because this is going to happen and this is going to happen, that's what's going to make things work. We're not getting anything like that. The president also said Americans will be able to buy health insurance across state lines, bringing down cost. Jamie Tate thinks ultimately taxpayers will still carry the cost of coverage on their backs. One way or another, all that stuff's going to have to get paid for. I guess we'll have to wait, just like we've been waiting, to see what he's going to say is going to pay for it. Well, the president added he will protect patients and doctors from costs that drive up health care. And he says he will immediately bring down the high price of prescription drugs. Pat, back to you. All right. Thank